What's going on out there, A of Illinois? It's your state legislative coordinator slash lobbyist, Josh Witkowski here, giving you an update on the action from today. Uh, earlier today, we asked for folks to put together witness slips regarding uh, the House Bill 1634, which would have put Illinois under the California Air Resources Board, California Air Emissions. Um, that hearing was canceled late this afternoon, about uh, two hours or so before the hearing was supposed to occur. They ended up canceling it, which means that the bill was not heard. Um, we don't know exactly what's going to happen with it. Just a reminder, it is one of three different bills down here that would all put Illinois under the California Air Resources Board, which you can ask motorcyclists in California what that is like. It's not good. Um, it causes problems with being able to work on your own motorcycles. It causes issues with off-road uh, vehicles and all that fun stuff. Plus it mandates that vehicles be all electric by 2035 with a steep ramp rate to that. Very obviously we support the freedom of individuals to choose what kind of motorcycle they ride. In addition to that, I did get to speak to Representative Dan Didich uh, about his helmet bill. That's House Bill 5620. We've had a lot of people comment on our social media asking us when they can file witness slips against the bill. Well, the bill is held up in Rules Committee right now, which means it doesn't have the opportunity to have witness slips filed against it. So, for right now, there's no witness slips. However, we did have a good conversation today with Representative Didich. He's got a genuine concern about motorcycle safety and vehicle safety issues. The bill was proposed to him by a constituent. We talked about that. He talked about the constituent's desires and his motives behind filing the bill. And it's not a bad thing. He's trying to do what he thinks is good. Uh, obviously, we oppose that because it does take away your right to choose what safety gear that you wear. Um, but altogether, it was a good, positive conversation. Gave him a lot of information about what actually does affect motorcycle safety in the state of Illinois, uh, especially the issue with the motorcycle safety classes and training, the issues surrounding distracted driving and various other things. He took it all in very well. He said he's going to mold the information over and he's going to continue to think about it. So while that's happening, I'm going to encourage everybody out there to let the representative take the time to digest the information. It was a good, positive conversation. Let's give him that opportunity, all right? Um, those of you that have taken action about it, thanks for what you have done. Um, but remember, whenever taking action, do be polite about things. Uh, outside of that, those are the two main things that occurred down here that uh, affect everybody out there. There's more than a few bills that are still in play. It's going to be kind of crazy down here from time to time. Uh, we're here for two more days this week. We're off the following week, and then we are back for almost three months solid. Don't forget, April 17th is Legislative Day. Hope to have many of you down here joining us for that. Until then, have a good one.